Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to kind of fix your MacBook's spacebar issue here, or whatever you want to call it. So for those of you out there who thinks that you can replace this, or and anyhow clean the dust out on this thing, get away scotch-free, then you're sadly mistaken. Instead, what I have here is this is the spacebar, as you can see. And if you've noticed, it has these pins here. As you can see, I'm missing two from attempting to mess around with it too many times. So what you're going to do is because what you're going to do is you're going to put something very thin in between it like this to prevent it from collapsing because these butterfly keyboards, as you know, when you press them, this thing collapses inwards, which is my theory why every time when you put it in here and you try to press it down as hard as you can, it's not connecting with these thing here. Let me try to focus, focus with these I'm just going to call them microscopic connectors or pins, whatever you want to call them. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert two of these little tabs. Now I just took this from a laminated card that wasn't being used anymore. And you're actually going to try to, I'm trying, yeah, you're actually going to, oh shoot, one came out. You're actually going to try to be able to, there we go, try to make it snap into those corners. Now this is not a guaranteed in any way, this is just a theory that I came up with. So we're going to try to line up as best as possible. Oh and also, you want to make sure that this thing is as straight as you can get it. Um, one time I did it semi-successfully, and but it was a little bit bent. So, as you can see, if you guys have any objections, as you can see, it's as straight as I can see it at this time. So, I'm going to put it in here. Did you hear that? It was like a little snap just now. And once that kind of snaps, you're going to... pull this out. Now I'm doing this with two hands so if things don't seem quite as well just know that it wasn't easy for me either. Now we're going to come over here and snap it in. Again I am using two hands so let's see. So it's not seated all the way, but that was just a theory I had. Okay, so this is very interesting. Earlier, I was only able to use my space bar from, I was only able to use my space bar from here to here. Anywhere else, it was just in the middle I can use it. But these two corners were dead. But as you can see, I'm on YouTube here, and I'm going to, press here and that there you guys have it it's, it's, I'm gonna try here now as you can see that play arrow on YouTube is working I'm just gonna try to press it down to see if it will stay into place BAM oh my god it's got a satisfying click to it Oof. so there you guys have it um, I actually kind of wasn't intending that it would work, but, well, let me, I'm lying. I kind of knew it would work. You just have to basically put those butterfly keys in a position to where they're, that butterfly switch in a position to where it's, it's kind of forced to stay there, and you're going to use those, those two things I showed you guys to kind of slide it out. So there you guys have it. Let's see. Bam. And using slightly a little bit more force than... Oh, this one's perfect. Then needed, but hey, it's it's there. I don't have to buy two hundred dollar upper case or whatever they call it. 